G'day, I'm Paul Wade, a former Socceroo captain. G'day, Chris, and all those watching the Spurs Chat podcast. Um, I've asked, been asked three questions, and I'd love to answer them. And the first one is about Ange, and having played with him for seven years at South Melbourne Hellas, I know, and I'm surprised, I must tell you, I'm surprised at what he's doing now, and I'm sure if you asked him, and you probably have, he's surprised too. He had the, the fundamentals, but to see what he's doing now at the highest level is amazing. Having said that, I look at the grounding. He started in one of the biggest clubs in Australia at 19, and there were some pretty strong characters in that squad, including the coach, Len McKendry, who is born in London. God bless him, he's no longer with us. But his philosophy was, when you get that ball, boys, you play it forward. I don't want to see it go that way or that way. You put it on the ground and you play it forward. His dad saying, don't stuff this up. You know, so there's that resilience there. And then finishing off with Ferenc Pushkas, considered one of the best 10 players in the world, who gave it the, boys, you must play. Just play the ball. And if you're anywhere near goal, shoot. So he had this beautiful mixture of influence and he's put it all into what he believes. And you guys are benefiting from it. Um, the only mistake he did make he organised an end-of-season trip to Hawaii. But the, the idiot, his two weeks, the first week we were all going, and the second week just the married boys are going. Duh, we spend the whole second week apologising for everything we've done in the first week. It's the only mistake he's made in football. We are very lucky. You are very lucky to have him. Now... Am I happy with what he's doing now? Wow. For that club. You know what um, encapsulate, encapsulates and Postacoglu is that photograph of all the players and all the stuff. You know, I, I'm sure that you believe, as I do, leadership is the example you set and the culture you create. And I look at that photograph and I go, what a great culture. And... From all the feedback I get at Spurs, he's first to arrive, he's last to leave, the door's open to anyone. Don't talk crap to him. Don't waste his time because he hasn't got much of it to waste. So, yeah, you know, one thing that I've noticed when he's played, he scared the living daylights out of us when he was coaching the Socceroos uh, 2015. And he wanted all these players in the middle of the park and was willing to sacrifice players at the back. So we're all going, and we're playing South Korea in the Asian Cup final. And you're flooding the midfield. And his philosophy is, well, if we've got the ball because we've got more players, we can score more goals. That's just how positive he was. And it didn't matter. South Korea scored in the last couple of minutes of the game. And he still played that role and that philosophy in extra time. He's, um, he's quite an amazing man, and, um, and I'm sure it doesn't need me to tell you that. What should he do from now on, maybe in the, the January transfer window? Um, keep 11 players on the park? That could be a start. I know he sent his little messages off to Santa, Hopefully he'll get a few players in that transfer window. He knows that if you've got very good players, they're going to go and play for their country. All the coaches at the highest level know that. You know that. Um, but I hope he doesn't lose his assistant coaches because he really values the people around him. You know, humility, respect, honesty and loyalty are four very important things to Ange Postacoglu, especially that loyalty. And he's got it from his coaching staff. Please, everybody, stay at Spurs for this season and you'll see amazing things, despite the hiccup over the last few weeks. I can't say enough about Ange Postacoglu, the man and the lover of football and the leader that he is. Um, Chris... I hope you enjoy the rest of the season and the entertainment that the boys are going to bring. See ya.